Okay, John, so today I have in my hands, this is the, the Sony uh, Alpha A900 DSLR. Tell me about this sure. thing, yeah. Like... This, is, uh, this is in direct competition, or I think, with uh, the, the prosumer to professional grade Canon and Nikon uh, cameras. It's mm -hmm. 24 megapixels, it's a full frame chip, which means that the image sensor is the same size as a 35 millimeter piece of film. You're gonna see uh, the entire focal length of your lens. So if you're shooting at 24 millimeters yeah. wide, uh, you're gonna see everything on the sensor. Right. Other cheaper uh, DSLRs have cropped image sensors. You're gonna want something like this to get the most out of this awesome lens that Sony sent us, the Carl Zeiss Plain RT. Yeah, they, they said that. So that that lens doesn't come with this camera, right? This lens does not come with this camera. I don't know if this lens comes with any camera. It's uh, it's about three thousand dollars. Also, if I could throw it on the camera that I use every day, I would, because okay. it's super sharp. Uh, it's a nice mid-range zoom. Carl Zeiss makes some really cool glass. So okay, so you you can't put it on the camera that you use every day. What, you use that Canon, right? The Canon? I use a Canon Mark III. Okay. Uh, that's what we shoot with over at Wired.com. Yeah. And the uh, the Mark III doesn't, can't take the, the Carl Zeiss lenses? It can't, not yet. Okay, but someday. Maybe. Someday, I think Carl Zeiss just announced the ZE uh, <clears throat> mount where they'll be able to put on a, a 50 millimeter and an 85 millimeter lens. Mm -hmm. uh, I think those come out sometime soon. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, so, you're shoot. You're out. Say you're out, like shooting with this guy. Sure. Uh, how how does it compare with say like uh, your Canon or even like a Nikon, like a, the D3 or, or something? That's like that? That's a great question because yeah. uh, when I took this camera out, I did one of my my favorite things to do with uh, digital cameras and shoot in really low light. This camera boasts a uh, really high ISO, 6400. So that means, means you can shoot in really, 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 really low. Lighting. You can practically see in the dark okay. uh, with this lens open up all the way. Another thing is that this this body has a built-in image stabilization. It's going to give you about four more stops of light when you're shooting, which means you'll be able to handhold this in, in dark situations. So it doesn't uh, have night vision, but it's close. It's pretty close. Okay. Um, I took it out uh, to a friend's DJ night and shot around in a really dark club, mm -hmm. and uh, the results were pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, noisy, but usable when we yeah, printed. Yeah, I, an I saw, time. I saw one of the the prints, like mm -hmm. uh, the one they're probably showing right now. <laughs> it's, it's got a little bit noise, especially in the kind of like the darker areas. Yeah, and the shadows. The shadows. Yeah, this. Yeah, it's a little bit noisy. I uh, one thing I wasn't too excited about is the uh, focusing in low light. I found that it was really tough to get a, a handle on what, what the lens was pointed at. Even things that were slightly out of focus, just because this uh, Carl Zeiss glass was on it, made it look really cool. None of the buttons are backlit, which I okay. thought was a huge issue. Um, That's a bit of a problem. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem if they're yeah. going to have so many. If you're already invested in Nikon and, and uh, Canon glass, I'd say probably stick with their DSLRs. They're really nice. This costs about as much um, as a pro Canon or Nikon DSLR. Oh, with, with the, the lens, with the and, lens the, and, and the body. body. Okay. Um, together, I think it's a great combination. Okay. Uh, we we have to see what the kit lens is, if any. There's not going to be a kit. There's lens. not going to be a kit no. lens. Well, hope you have your money saved. I yeah. hope I do too. <laughs> this is the Arcos Five, and it is so shiny that it comes with its own polishing cloth. Isn't that oh. outstanding? I still don't think I've gotten all the thumbprints off of this thing. <laughs> All right, let's wake it up and show nice people what uh, what an amazing, beautiful video screen this thing has. Yeah. I mean, it's outstanding. 4.8 inches. It's pretty big. Okay, so this it's is pretty like, big. you look at this and you might think, I've seen a certain phone that looks like this, but a little bit. not really anything to do with the phone. This basically just plays video, music, photos, you have it on, did I mention a really big, gorgeous, beautiful, high resolution screen? You know what the exact size of this player is? As it sounds like a yeah. If I hold it like this, I sort of feel like I'm looking at a large screen TV that I'm just, you know, far away from the right. perspective. Okay, that's not working. Um. <laughs> it has a Linux operating system, which, uh, if you, you know, you look at it around, it actually looks, well, look at that. It looks nice I, and everything. Linux, I think, is totally moot on this. I don't even know why you bring it up because it's you don't totally think it relevant to this. Right. No. I mean, basically, it's you've got a menu here. You can look you got at six different TV, menus. Yeah. Browse, browse the web. You can check your email, right? Or you can play videos, music, or uh, look at slideshows. Well, let's talk about the price, which okay. is you know three hundred fifty bucks. This is basically bucks. a sixty gig hard drive, right. With a screen on it, and uh, a couple of outputs for HDMI and other right. other kinds of video outputs. If you get an optional accessory, it's not the most usable thing for no. for browsing the web. They're playing catch up, and when it's your, the main way that you interact with a media tablet, and you still have the experience 
of the iPhone, that's that's totally different. So that's your expectation, and you totally are going to be a little bit slightly disappointed right. when you're double-clicking, when you're touching, when you expect to zoom in with a multi-touch, and it doesn't happen, and you're like, well, this kind of sucks. Yep. Apple has completely brainwashed us into expecting certain gestures right. to work certain ways, like the pinch or the double tap or what have you. And right. This is sort of close, but not quite there. Right. All right, so, so bottom line, it's an elegantly designed device. And did right. I mention it has a really drop-dead gorgeous screen? I love the screen. I just can't stop. You mentioned it a couple times. <laughs> yeah.